Pleasing everybody all of the time is an arduous task, particularly when it comes to installing EV chargers in shared spaces like car parks. While there is a variety of EV chargers available, many lack the necessary features for a simple electrical installation or fail to meet regulatory requirements and ever shifting demands of end user and charge point operators. However, we think we've found a great solution with Garrow's new Entity Pro Charger. So let's dive in and take a look at some of the great features. So let's start with the electrical installation. The key here is flexibility. The charger has three components, a mounting plate with the electrical connections, the main module incorporating the charger electronics, and a clip-on front plate that locks closed. We prefer chargers with separate mounting plates as it lets you complete and test the initial electrical installation before adding the charger electronics. This also helps when you're installing in challenging weather conditions, which seems to happen every time I get near one of these installations. As soon as I get near it, it starts to rain. When it comes to hard wiring, there's loads of options with cable entries on the top, which you'd probably use in an area like an underground car park, rear entries when mounting to an external wall. We've used the lower cable entry in this installation, which is mounted on a post. This option includes an additional strain relief, which is particularly useful for post top mounts where you tend to be using more flexible cables. The base has two sets of terminal blocks enabling effortless loop in and loop out wiring. These terminals can accommodate cables up to 16 millimeters squared with a circuit rating of up to 80 amps. Now this feature is really handy when you're wiring a row of chargers that you typically find in car park situations. Once you've finished the first fix, proceed to fasten the charger electronics to the base unit and secure it in place using the six Torx screws. However, it's advisable to delay this step until you're ready to commission the system as you will need to access the QR code on the base plate as part of that process. Now, installing an EV charger can be challenging, not because of the charger itself, but because of what you need to add upstream in the electrical distribution system to comply with wiring regulations. And one of the most debated issues surrounds EV chargers and RCD protection, which is, of course, an essential safety requirement. Now, many chargers incorporate the DC leakage element in the charger and then rely on an external RCD for the AC leakage protection. However, adding an external RCD significantly increases the installation cost and complexity, especially on three-phase systems as that RCD needs to isolate all live poles. Garrow's covered everything with a fully integral RCD for both AC and DC leakage functions. They've done that using a four pole MCB and a shunt trip mechanism, which also has the advantage of providing overload protection and isolation to each charger. Additionally, there's a manual push button for functional tests. The charger's safety and performance has been independently tested by TUV. You will still need to add an external pen fault protection device for the three phase versions, but the UK single phase versions of this charger do include it. Another big issue facing end users wanting to provide EV charging surrounds the capacity of a building's power supply. You may want to provide 200 kilowatts of EV charging but in most cases, this is limited by this power supply coming into the building. So unless you want to pay a small fortune to upgrade the incoming power cables, a degree of rationing is required or the posh term dynamic load management. This is another area Garrow has covered nicely using a remote network meter that communicates with the chargers. So adjusting those charging levels to avoid exceeding the circuit or building power supply. The charger also features automatic phase rotation that balances cars with single phase chargers across all three phases, allowing you to utilize all available power. And this nicely leads us to another challenging aspect of EV chargers, and that's connectivity. And Garrow has once again thought of everything with some really ingenious features. Not only can you connect to the charger using Wi-Fi, but this charger can also create its own Wi-Fi mesh network to communicate with other chargers within the circuit. That means you only need a reliable Wi-Fi signal to the first charger, which can really simplify the installation process. And it's a similar story 
when it comes to the hardwired Ethernet option, which is often the preferred choice in this type of applications. Now, many chargers have hardwired connections, but Garo has gone one step further and added a two port network switch so that chargers can be daisy chained with a single network cable rather than having to wire each charger back to a central switch which again simplifies the installation process and you can even integrate wi-fi and hardwired chargers to access areas of the building that other chargers would struggle to reach if you're installing at a site without network connections you can use a 4g sim card now we've been mainly using the ikea style quick start instructions for this installation as gary and rick like things with pictures however i will leave a link in the description to the comprehensive instruction manual if you'd like to explore more on the load management and connectivity options when it comes to setup the Garrow app is brilliant. It simplifies the process of setup, commissioning, and charger management. The app is conveniently divided into two sections, installer features and end user functions. Installers can complete all setup tasks using just a mobile phone equipped with the Garrow Connect app, which guides you through a step-by-step -step approach. The process only takes a matter of minutes to complete. Considering I didn't really read the instructions properly before doing it that was actually quite easy and once you've commissioned the system you can easily configure the charger this includes locking the charger cables in place adjusting the led intensity on the front and managing user access to the charger station users can conveniently use an app or an rfid card for access to the charger and you have the flexibility to link this to billing accounts or even offer free charging as a generous option most charge point operators will probably use a third party platform for larger or multi site operations to enable billing functions or integration within charger networks. This charger is fully OCPP compliant, so adding third party apps is an easy process. And of course, if the charger is being used for billing purposes, you must select an option including an MID class meter, which in this charger fits neatly in this space here underneath the cover. Now, of course, the EV charging industry is constantly evolving and choosing a future-proof charging solution is essential. One of the latest trends in this space is the addition of a plug and charge feature where the charger itself will automatically identify the car being charged and then handle billing to a connected account without needing any user intervention. The Garrow Entity Pro is ready for plug and charge as it's rolled out across more payment platforms. On the other end of the scale, the government is set to introduce the public charge point regulations. These regulations will mandate that all public facing charge points must include a chip and pin payment option. Now, for more information on implementing this feature with chargers like the Garo Entity, please check out the video on screen now. I believe Garo has done an exceptional job with this charger. Its flexibility for various commercial charger installations is quite remarkable, which is also reflected in the Garo Connect app. If you've got any questions about this charger or indeed installing EV chargers in shared spaces, please leave a comment below and we'll hopefully address them in an up and coming video.